Crikey, lucky people. It's going to have a live reading with you, Lena, in, in about four, 15 minutes' oh, time. Oh, excellent. Right, now, I think we are going to speak to Tiana. Hello. Hi, how are you this morning? Not bad, thank you. Good morning, Tiana. Before we begin, love, could I just take your date of birth, please? Yeah, 6th of 7th, 77. 1977, okay. And uh, is there any particular area you'd like me to concentrate on for you today? Um, probably love. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look. Um, just doing your calculation for you on the themes around you for 2008, just so I can get a little bit of an insight and just ground your energy with me from a psychic perspective. Well, I have to say, this has been a very, very topsy-turvy year for you, and I would say that in uh, May of this year, it all seems to have come to a head. So over the last two, two and a half months, it's been a pretty rocky road for you. Yeah. You understand that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now I think that the heart chakra is very open and you've done the best you can to kind of communicate with this person. So I'm going to recommend that you take your hands off it and you put this person into a bubble of golden light and you bring a kind of unification between the two of you to settle the energy down. This is not the first time that he's come and gone in your life. No. You see, so what is interesting to me is that he goes away, he has to undergo some kind of process, but he sort of tends to be drawn back to you yeah. and he tends to want to re-establish with you yeah. uh, a new road, which you have allowed him to do on several occasions. Yeah. I think that my feeling is, and certainly as No Name is explaining it to me, in time, yeah. and we're talking probably minimum two months, possibly maximum two and a half months, yeah. he will start the contact again, as he's done before. He'll be interested in how you're feeling, how the children are, and how circumstances are going with you. He'll be a little bit more proactive around you and the family, and that's how he kind of brings himself back towards you. Now, I think that it's time for you to realize that if you want him back, it's about you absolutely clearing up the, the communication and reinstilling loyalty and trust by standing your ground and being empowered. So how did you find your reading? Um, very um, uplifting, um, so spot on, everything, <laughs> everything good. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. <laughs> what, what particularly did you like about it, Tiana? Sorry? What, what are the particular things you took from it? Um, the, you know, the disappearing and coming back. The fact that I have a son, a child, you know, um, everything really. Okay. <laughs> the commu well, lack of communication. Thank you very much. Yeah. Now look, I've got some feedback I want to read for you. Ah, oh, thank you very much. There's feedback for Lee. Thanks very much for the live reading. Oh yes, that was lovely, Tiana. Oh, it's Tiana. Yes, it is, Tiana. Amazing. Wow, where are me and Lee? Leo going to be from here? Right, well, I'm oh. going to have a little look at this just here for you. Okay. You feel at the moment so um, uneasy emotionally that he's coming in and providing you with something very, very important. On the eight vibration here, this is all about the strength that he provides, the absolute security that he's offering into your life. And I think that I think that that has momentum, that has a bit of um, energy behind it, and I think it's got places to go. So August and September is the quickening, I think about four months for the structure to really formulate between the two of you. So thank you very much for that.